Hi, I'm Stefan Stem from the University of Kentucky. Thanks for watching this video. I would like to give you some biological backgrounds about our review about the process snow anis. We got into this project by analyzing the molecular cause for the Prader-Willi syndrome. The Prader-Willi syndrome is the most frequent genetic cause for market obesity in humans. Genetic analysis in recent years showed that the loss of snow anis expressing units in the Prader-Willi critical region is the most likely cause for the disease. These units express RNAs that have no predicted targets. It was therefore difficult to understand how their loss generates a human syndrome. Detailed molecular analysis showed now that these units actually give rise to shorter RNAs than are predicted from the gene structure. In addition, these shorter RNAs associate with pro proteins that are different from the known proteins associating with CD box snow RNAs. The proteins that are associated with these RNAs are normally working in the splicing reactions, they organize chromatin or they work in transcription. We were really excited as there are now a number of uh, CD box snow RNAs that seem to show a similar processing pattern. And Marina Falaleva in the next couple of slides will show you how we think these snow RNAs are generated and what their molecular function might be. Most mammalian CD box snow RNAs reside in introns from which they are released during the splicing reaction. After lariat opening, the intron is degraded by exonucleases marked as the yellow faces. Proteins assembling on the snow RNA prevent its further degradation. Mature snow RNAs accumulate in the nucleolus. Recent deep sequencing data and RNAs protection experiments showed that snow RNAs give rise to shorter RNAs. It is currently unclear whether premature or mature RNA gets processed. All processed snow RNAs are called SD RNAs for snow RNAs derived RNAs. Medium sized processing products are called P snow RNAs for processed snow RNAs. Some of the snow RNAs give rise to shorter products with micro RNA like functions. P snow RNAs have been shown to regulate gene expression and alternative pre RNA splicing. Snow RNA derived mRNAs act in the translation regulation. Certain snow RNAs can accumulate in the cytosol and under stress conditions. These observations extend the potential mechanisms of action and functions associated with small nucleolar RNAs.